Going to uni can be absolutely terrifying, but seriously, there is nothing to be worried about. Regardless, I've put together four tips which should make moving to a new city to study a subject you hopefully love a little bit easier. Obviously, I can only speak from my own experiences and what I wish I'd known before I started, but nonetheless, these tips should be pretty useful to all of you. The first and debatably most important thing you need to do is go to Freshers' Fair. In the first week of the autumn term, there will be stalls for every club and society spread out across Imperial's campus. And at these stalls, you can find out more about what they do and how you can sign up. These clubs are great places to meet like-minded people, try out new things that potentially you've never had the opportunity to do, and maybe even find a new hobby. I'm just gonna really quickly take this opportunity to plug my this year I'm in charge of Imperial's television society, so if you fancy yourself as a filmmaker or simply like the idea of trying your hand at maybe making a film or starring in a short video, come over to the Imperial TV Society stall, have a chat with me and find out a bit more about what we do. The second really important thing you can do is use the time you have during your first few weeks to make meaningful connections with the people around you. I know it can be a bit scary, but most people will be in a really similar boat to you. After all, the majority of people are moving away from home for the first time and that can be a bit weird for the first few weeks. All you need to do is read reach out a hand to the people around you. Maybe arrange a movie or a games night with the people who are living in your flat. I'm gonna throw some of my all time favorite board games down below that I've found are amazing icebreakers and an opportunity to make some hilarious memories with your new friends. Those first few people that you meet may not end up being your best friends for the rest of your life. You may not even talk to them a month into uni, but they'll make the first few weeks of your studies that a little bit easier. My third tip is one that I learned far too far down the line, and that's to buy a planner or at least just use the calendar app in your phone. If you start the year keeping track of what you're doing and trying to stick to a schedule. You'll get all your coursework done on time, keep track of all your bench tests and end up with loads of free time to spend going to clubs and societies or just hanging out with your mates. Honestly, I can't tell you how much easier my life became when I started scheduling my days and how much better my grades were. And I really, really wish I'd done this from the moment I got to university rather than midway through my second year. The fourth and final tip I have for you is to just be unapologetically you. A lot of people will be finding their feet or reinventing themselves at university and honestly that's absolutely okay. Simply find yourself and be yourself. There are plenty of people at Imperial, so you're going to eventually find someone that's just like you. It might take days, weeks, or even months, but eventually you'll fall in with some people that just get you, no matter what you do, read, watch, or play. Just stay true to yourself and you will have an incredible time here. I promise you that. Other than those four tips, just grab every opportunity that Imperial hands to you. If you have any questions before you start at Imperial this September or October, whatever it is, leave them down below or you can DM my Instagram at Uncharted Science. I always try to reply to DMs fairly quickly and I really enjoy hearing from you, so don't worry about pestering me or anything. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your summer and I'll see you around. Peace out and ta -ra.